Hey everybody, welcome back to Yurkovision. Today we're going to do another Black Series review. We are covering the Return of the Jedi Boba Fett Deluxe figure released earlier this year. Not a huge fan of the figure, looking at it in the box, but I'm going to open it up and take a closer look at it. Maybe it'll change my mind once it's out of the box, so let's get to it. All right, here he is, the Deluxe Boba Fett from Return of the Jedi. Nice looking figure, very detailed from the flight suit to the armor. The small insignias look like they've been fixed so that they're more proportionate to the body. Hasbro spent a lot of time creating a new mold for this figure and I think it paid off for the most part. Let's take a look at the accessories. He has little flames that can come out of the thrusters of his jetpack. Some more flame that comes out of the wrist rocket in his arm for the flamethrower and two EE-3 blaster rifles, one that looks normal, and one that's been cut in half by Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. They also give him a little bit of rope, so you can kind of create that scene where he wraps up Luke before he, I don't know, falls down. <laughs> Although this is a very nice looking figure, there are some issues with him. The most noticeable is his helmet. If you look at it in the package, it looks really, really narrow, and nothing like it does in the movie, where it's a little bit wider. Once I opened him up and took a look, the helmet still looked narrow. I've done some research on the internet and saw that it's very common with a lot of these Boba Fetts, and there are tricks to make it look a little bit better. Another complaint is the plastic cape chosen instead of soft goods. While I'm not a proponent of soft goods on an action figure, the plastic makes it a little bit harder to articulate and pose. It just always seems to get in the way. Now, I don't know if I want to die on this hill, but the jetpack really irks me. It looks really, really blue. And now, I understand, the jetpack's green in Return of the Jedi isn't quite a match to the green armor that he wears. But, I don't think it was this blue. It looks more fitting to like Jango Fett in his color of the backpack. I've even watched The Mandalorian, and the jetpack that's used by Cobb Vanth isn't even as blue as the jetpack Boba Fett wears in Return of the Jedi, or on the figure. So there's a lot of inconsistency when it comes to the release of figures and the colors when it comes to this jetpack. Anyway, moving on. Let's see if I can keep up with myself while I articulate this figure. Standard articulation here on the elbow, the wrist moves back and forth, up and down, uh, which I believe is new for some of these figures. The armor piece is now separate from the body, so you can move the arms a little bit more freely. The backpack has a removable missile, which is neat, so you can fire it at your enemies. Plastic cape, not really a huge fan of. The aiming device moves up and down, which is nice. Uh, Boba Fett can look around a little bit easier because he has a double ball joint, one at the base of the neck and one at the top of the neck where it meets the head. You have a standard articulation here at the waist. The knee joints on this figure are a single and not a double joint like many of the Black Series have, which I think is pretty cool because I was never really a fan of that double knee. Uh, ankle joints are about the same as your typical Black Series figure and the thighs, they swivel around just like every other Black Series, so that's that's it. Pretty good looking articulation here. His accessories here, we have the EE3 blaster that got cut in half by Luke with the lightsaber. I think is unnecessary, but pretty cool to have. Two flames for each thruster on the jetpack. The flame for his wrist flamethrower, pretty cool. The rope, snare, whatever you want to call it, grappling hook. And the standard EE3 blaster, a uh, little flimsy. Not a huge fan of that, maybe they could have made the plastic a little bit sturdier. And that about does it for Boba Fett Return of the Jedi Black Series. 
Not so bad of a figure, but I think it can be a little bit better. And what people are doing, at least what I've seen on the internet, they're taking Boba Fett's helmet, putting it under scolding hot water, and changing the shape so that it appears wider by putting pressure on it and just changing the mold. So I think I'm gonna give that a shot, see what happens. I'm going to fast forward through this section, just keep in mind that the water is really hot and you don't want to get your fingers caught underneath because you might burn yourself. After you've drowned the poor guy for a few minutes, make sure that you put your thumb and your finger on either side of the helmet and squeeze while the plastic is soft until it cools down and once it does, you'll have a nice wider Boba Fett helmet. I'm going to throw him in the freezer a little bit too so that it cools down and secures the reshaping of the helmet. And here we are. This is Boba Fett now after the freezer, after cooling down. He looks much better, much different. The helmet before was really, really narrow on the sides, and now, look at it. It looks like the actual full helmet that he wears in the movie, and in the comics, and any other media. Stick with the movie. And that'll do it for this week's review. If you liked what you saw, like the video and subscribe. And stay tuned for more and more videos as I tackle more and more Star Wars figures and other figures. Thanks again. See you guys next time.